Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking. If everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes, remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, there was a scene from last night, uh, episode of Love and Mary Tunsville, episode 9, where Marcel was um, telling Tisha about the conversation him and Martel had with Tiffany. And Carlos... Why do we have to watch this? On um, what was it given? I mean, this was like the ultimate no-no. I don't, I don't understand why this, why this clip was aired. It seems like y'all picked the worst of the worst scenes to air out on television, and y'all sprinkled the good scenes throughout the week to get us roused up to watch, to watch the. Uh, the up the next episode and it's becoming exhausting it was like watching marceau and tisha act like lucy and elto from i love lucy marceau act uh, marceau being lucy um and tisha being elto marceau telling tisha what happened and tisha being so doggone caught up in dramatic like really wow I, w I was like come on now just stop it stop it they could just take this this clip and just trash it they don't they don't even need to shelve it that just trash it because why did why was that so important that he had to tell tisha about it and more importantly why did tisha um why did tisha stand for it why didn't she ask Marcel why do he care so much? If he t if y'all took the time to show that, why why Tisha didn't ask Marceau, Marceau, what you care? You ain't got nothing to do with it. It's not his it's it's not Marceau business. And did he tell you that Lou wasn't present? And Tisha, you as a woman smiling and taking notes just so you can have something to run back to the group and um you know have something to say that's just pathetic and to me my opinion that's exactly why my soul treats you the way he does because you find comfort when you see other women being attacked and i don't i don't understand why you you don't have you you seem like you want to break down and cry any sign of threat to you um or your or your marriage but you don't mind other women it you know feeling the heat or catching a fire tisha what's wrong with you it's like you couldn't even you couldn't wait to run back and tell what marcel told you and it was really it was really distasteful for one to speak about it at the baby shower and two, you spoke about it in Melody's presence. And I I grant that um, Miss Fletcher stated what was said, but they wouldn't have had any, any conversation had Tisha not brought it to them. Why? And you you spoke about it in, in front of everybody. It's like, Tisha, what is wrong with you? You, to me, you really are a poor excuse for, for a woman. It's like, you really thought you were going to, um, you were going to get to Melody. It, even though you asked her, was it okay if y'all continue your conversation? You shouldn't have never had to ask her. Just stop. Just say, okay, well, Mel's coming and, you know, change the subject. You don't need, I mean, it's like, it should be a given. But some things you could, it's like you take pride in. You you just really sad. And it's like, I know you did it. Like you, you did it because you wanted to gloat without it being on you. Again, you want to, well, I was just saying what was told to me. 
And you you want to, you know, throw your rocks and hide your hands. You know, leave them rocks at bedrock. Don't nobody, don't nobody want y'all rocks. And I'm glad that Melody checked the deuces at you and the Charlie Brown crew. Because it's like, no matter how much y'all talk, it still comes out like, womp, womp. Y'all always failing. Find something else to talk about. And it's like Marshall took his time to tell you every detail of their conversation with Tiffany. But did he take the time to tell you about Africa? Did he take the time to tell you about your makeup artist and him? Did he take the time to tell you about your office no longer being your office? Did he take the time to tell you about the 20 women? Did he take the time to tell you about Gino working at your company? Did he take the time to tell you... Why he stopped working at the movies? Did he take the time to tell you about the picture on uh, the picture of his back? You know, remember when he was in Atlanta? Well, has he made time for therapy? You know, since he taken time to tell you about his conversation with Tiffany, the one that he should have never been in. Has he made time for anything concerning you and you two and y'all marriage? I didn't think so. So nothing else he could say about anybody else would have ha would have held my interest. Remember, you know, your plate is full. And you don't have time for drama. You don't do mess. So why are you sitting up there engaging? I, I don't understand that. But then you'll say, oh, I don't do drama. I don't like drama. But you bring in the drama. You already um, talking about you have to get up at four. So how far back did that conversation um, set you back? Plus, I seen you packing by yourself. Did you pack that whole house up by yourself, Tisha? Oh, like, you know, like you do everything else by yourself, take care of the kids and everything. Marcel just leave it up to you. You know, like Maurice, leave everything up to Kimmy to figure out. So you don't have no room to be talking about anybody. The conversation that y'all should have been having is, why are we moving backwards? Why are we going into an apartment when we have a house? What is it with us that we can't get it together to move forward? Why are we taking two steps backwards when we should be moving five paces forward? Because we're millionaires. Other people do it. We can do it too. Plus, we get not only are we getting our regular income, we have a su supplemental income when we get paid from Love and Mail Tunsville. So that should boost our income. We didn't have PPP loans. What did we do? Let's sit down and itemize what we did with our PPP loans. I'm just saying, uh, Tisha, there's a whole lot that he could have been telling you about. But yet y'all chose to talk about Tiffany. I'm just talking out loud, stating my opinion. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.